Calling 911 in an emergency. You expect help to arrive almost immediately, but staffing shortages in Richmond are leading to longer response times if help can come at all. Our Tyler Lane spoke to one man who fears for his own safety and so took action to get answers. I just need to know, is this the common standard or is this a series of failures? Christopher May says he and his neighbors are being failed by the Richmond Police Department. I hear more gunshots and see less police in my neighborhood than anywhere else in the city. Going... <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, so, Chris, I'm, I'm telling you this guy's a fucking liberal, pasty liberal. Chris, um... Well... What are we going? What do you want us to do about these Trump supporters that are shooting up your neighborhood? What should we do, man? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we should do about them, man. Um, as a as a white supremacist, what do you think we should do, Chris? Yeah, I mean these these damn these damn white supremacists shooting up your neighborhood, man. Um, should we just take the gloves, bring back stop and frisks if we see a white supremacist walking down the street? stop him and frisk him because that's who's doing it right chris police department i hear more gunshots and see less police in my neighborhood than anywhere else in the city going before city council's public safety committee to talk about a scary situation that unfolded in his oak grove community over the weekend early sunday morning may says he woke up around 1 30 a.m to the sound of loud music honking cars and unruly crowds he called 911 to report an out-of-control party, noting a house in his neighborhood has a history of gun violence, but officers did not respond. Then, around 2.40 a.m., gunshots rang out, bullets hitting cars and going through homes. May says he immediately called 911 again, and it took 15 minutes for a sergeant to then respond. It makes <laughs> You call 911, what do you get her? Yikes. Um... <laughs> what had happened was dang why you yelling oh see now if you got an attitude man you can just hang up and call yeah you can hang up and call yeah. back she ain't had time for this shit <laughs> yeah but look, hey, look who he's talking to the, the two glider women they don't give a shit either nah hell no nah. I thought it was funny how she said that this house is known for shooting yeah, it's the house. The house is just the shooting. Yeah, you know that. It's not the people at the house. It's the house. House is an animate object. Inanimate is an animate object, man. Like a cartoon. <laughs> Bob the Builder. And shit. You got like um, the fucking trade. What's the Thomas don't, the trade? <laughs> don't walk past that house. It'll fucking shoot at you. <laughs> He immediately called 911 again, and it took 15 minutes for a sergeant to then respond. It makes no sense where a home that had someone shot in front of it from a street that has a series of problems to take an hour to get someone out there, and only because someone shot a gun. This could have <laughs> this dude saw. I mean, listen, man, look, he, he look, he demanded this. It's just the same thing with Eric Garner's mom. It's the exact same thing. I promise you, all those Confederate monuments they had on Monument Avenue in Richmond, I promise you he was demanding that they be taken down. They took down all those Confederate monuments. They were beautiful. I used to live on Monument Avenue in Richmond. It's right near VCU. I used to live right there. I mean, majestic, block after block. I mean, just... A majestic all the way down, maybe like 20 blocks of just um fucking I mean beautiful grass and it's a circle at each um intersection is a circle, and in the middle of the circle is a big um like concrete thing with a with the um the, the um sculptures of the um of the generals on top of them, and it just goes forever and ever. It's the most beautiful street probably in the world, Monument Avenue, man. Um, and they tore that man, shit if down. Somebody, if somebody told him, like, you expect safety because of your white privilege, he would sit down real quick. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. They, I wish somebody would gaslight him like that. Damn, I wish somebody would step up and gaslight him like that. Are you mansplaining no us right now? 
<laughs> right. Right. You're mansplaining and you're privileged. Did your wife's boyfriend tell you to come down here? And you're like, um, and you're, um, you don't understand the the situation that those people on the streets are going through. You don't understand that the, the issues they have, they need services. It's, it's, it's not, it's not their fault. It's the lack of services. We need did more. You, did that. you die though? Yeah, man. Exactly, man. It's 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 this is systematic institutions and structural systems, man. It's not has nothing to do the has nothing to do with them. It's all these uh, fucking invisible fucking shadowy things that is causing this, man. Tell him the same shit he was telling everybody three years ago. Set where a home that had someone shot in front of it from a street that has a series of problems to take an hour to get someone out there and only because someone shot a gun. This could have been prevented. All of this could have been prevented. I'm sorry, I'm frustrated. The Department of Emergency Communications investigated the slow response time and they found the delay was due to Richmond police having no available units at the time of May's calls. We are just struggling with, with staffing. RPD's interim chief, Rick Edwards, addressing May's concerns at that meeting. He says right now the department is down more than 150 officers out of 755 total positions, and it's causing officers to change how they prioritize calls. And I hate to hear that it took gunfire to, to bring officers, but like, you know, the priority on calls are for a, for a party that would normally maybe three years ago would have had an officer there in 10 minutes now gets put on the back burner until till it becomes a, a more uh, public safety risk with violence. <laughs> so he's telling you straight up until somebody gets to shoot, man, we're not coming. Even 10 minutes, think about how much can happen in 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, definitely. they could kill you a thousand times over. <laughs> they can have you rip limb from limb, hung from every tree limb. <laughs> yeah, it's true, man. It's true, man. But yeah, I mean, it's just insane, man. It's just, just fucking insane. These people demanded this shit, and now they're fucking having buys. With if we all knew this was coming, like oh, how many times have we said, like, watch what happens? It was so predictable. It's it's almost it's it's maddening that they couldn't see this, man. Yeah, it's very confusing, but it's like they're not. It's like they're not even real people. They're just running a script, and they have no kind of, of individual thought. Yeah, like what did you think was going to happen when you defunded the police? What did you think was going to happen when you fucking coddled criminals? What did you think was going to happen when you got rid of bail? Think is what the fuck did you think was going to happen? Edwards says he's looking at ways to rearrange limited resources in more efficient ways while working on plans to bring back officers who previously left RPD. We don't get to go to work every day with the police department I wish we had. I have to go there with the police department I currently have. Hello. Why are you being reported? Oh, you six? Is this me? Yeah. Now we did reach out. To <laughs> Some person tried to chat him up while he tried to do his job. <laughs> currently have. Hello. Now, we did reach out to Mayor LeVar Stoney's office to ask if he had any plans to try and improve the staffing levels. We did not hear back. In Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News. Mm, mm, mm. My God. Mm, mm, mm. But it, uh, one thing, it did bring that wave, rode them, they rode that wave to power, though. I will give them that. They did ride that wave to power. They took the presidency back. See, yeah, that 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 is the actual point, Ock, of creating these movements mm -hmm. is to ride the wave into power. It's not about making sense. Mm -mm, definitely not. It worked. 